Hi there, Jorge. My name is Ellen. Uh, thank you for submitting your essays. I apologize for the, con uh, the confusion regarding your essay submission. Let's take a look at what you did here. Uh, first, we have your task one. You're looking for a summer job. Let's see what you said. Dear sir or madam, don't forget your comma here. That's important. I'm writing to let you know that I'm quite interested for a uh, apply for the free vacant in your Italian restaurant this season. I'm currently studying gastronomy in the University of British Columbia. What leaves me free for the all summer? I'm 30 years old and I was born and raised in Mexico. In addition, I usually spend my free time this time of year enjoying the trails and my mountain bike around Whistler. Okay, so um, let's talk about this paragraph a little bit. First of all, this is a formal letter, okay? You're writing to an employer, you don't know the person's name, and so what you need to use here is formal language. I felt like a lot of what you used wasn't particularly formal, and I'll point those uh, out to you. So it's very important that you use the right register. And when we say register, what we mean is the formality or informality of the letter, okay? So that's one thing. Then there was a problem with um, with punctuation because you uh, had some run-on sentences. In other words, there are sentences that are really long that should have been split up into smaller sentences because you, you, you lose meaning like this, okay? Another thing that happened in this, inter uh, in this uh, paragraph was you had... Um, some incorrect grammar, and you also had your eyes um, lowercased a few times, like here and here, so that needs to be uh, uppercase. Um, so what I want to do is I want to look through this again, this time correcting some of the mistakes that I found, and then we can move on from there. So dear sir or madam needs a comma. I am writing to let you know that I am quite interested in applying uh, for the vacancy in your Italian restaurant this summer or this season. Full stop here. Now, that's how this sentence would read um, grammatically correct. Um, when we are applying for a job or when we're writing to express our interest in applying for a job, we often use different language. There are some set expressions that are really commonly used. So you could say something like, I am right, not so much I am writing to let you know, which felt a little informal, but I am writing to express my interest in the vacancy in your Italian restaurant this season. Okay? That would have been a better way to say this. So moving on. I am currently studying gastronomy. Uh, at the University of British Columbia, which leaves me free for the whole summer. I am 30 years old because we, when you use contractions, this is considered um, informal, so you want to avoid this. So I am 30 years old and I was born and raised in Mexico. Okay, um, I don't think you needed this next sentence. I know it says to introduce yourself, but I think that the other information you supplied is enough of an introduction, okay? All right, let's move on. To begin with, again, I'm not going to say it again. You just need to capitalize these I's, okay? When you're referring to yourself, it's always capital. To begin with, I do consider myself a very energetic person with great character. There should be an H here and personality to deal with customers daily. And I do have previous experience working as, not has, but as, no H, as a waiter during my time in high school. Full stop here, not comma. Capital N, nevertheless, because of my studies, I want to learn more about Italian gastronomy. Um, full stop new sentence, but not besides, which feels informal. Instead, say additionally. Additionally, I have been uh, to your restaurant a couple of times, and I was amazed by the presentation of your dishes and the decoration of the place. 
Okay. Um, that would make it correct grammatically. Um, I always think that decoration of the place, especially this use of the word place, it feels rather informal. So I would have changed that as well. Um, I would have said the decoration of the interior or the interior decorations of the uh, interior decoration of the restaurant. Um, also, presentation is with a T here as well. Um, I also would suggest not using let me explain my situation, which sounds a little bit like a command. And since this is a formal letter, you don't want it to sound like you are commanding um, something of your, of your reader. So let's change that a tiny bit and instead say, um, how about this? Please allow me to explain my situation or um, to, uh, to let you know a little bit more about me. That feels a little informal, but still I think it would be better um, than, than this. Um, or another option is to write nothing at all here and simply say, I have been looking for a job opportunity to support my lifestyle while my college holidays are in effect. Full stop. Since I was a child, I helped my mother run her little and modest restaurant. Consequently, you have to spell it correctly. It is an atmosphere in which I feel comfortable. But I have to confess that the only task that I do not enjoy, enjoy is washing the dishes. Full stop. My hands do not tolerate the radical changes of temperature anymore. However, in any other area, I would be pleased to help. Okay. Um, so we cleaned it up grammatically. I still would have changed a few things. Um, the, the information provided might not be um, such a good idea to write in a job. You're trying to show them your strengths. So you don't really want to um, talk about weaknesses so much. So I'm going to make some suggestions on how I think you could have written this um, a little more. And I'm also going to tell you something else. Um, let's look at the bullets. We're going to come back to this paragraph, but look at the bullets. You're introducing yourself. Fine, you did that here. Then it asks for what kind of job you would like. Um, I didn't really find that anywhere. I don't know if you want to be a waiter. I don't know if you want to be a cook. So I was really rather confused here. I'm not sure what you want to do in this restaurant. And that's a problem because that's going to affect your task achievement score. Um, it's really important that you fully, fully answer each one of these bullets. Um, so that there's no question what your answer to each one is, okay? This for me though, did uh, present some problems. I know you said you have experience working, you're studying gastronomy. And so for those reasons, I really didn't know what you, what kind of job you want. You just said you want to support your lifestyle. So be careful with this. Now let's go back to this paragraph so we can clean it up a little and maybe write something that would be um, appropriate expressing your experiences and related skills. So let's see. Um, to provide you with a little more information about myself, um, I have been looking for a job opportunity uh, to support myself while um, my college is on holiday, full stop. I have many years experience working in a restaurant um, as I have been helping my mother in her modest restaurant for many years. Um, I have experience in waiting tables, uh, hosting, uh, as well as working in the kitchen. So I would be capable of performing any of these duties as, uh, as needed. Okay. So these are some of the ways that I think you could have talked about the job you would like and, um, also 
this, this background here. Um, then what is missing here, you have a sign off and that's good, but you also need a closing. How about something like a, please feel free to contact me at the phone number listed above. You don't have to actually list it, but you can just say that. So yeah, that would be good. Please feel free to contact me at the phone number above, or you could say, I will uh, stop by the restaurant uh, next Tuesday at 4 p.m. I hope this will give us an opportunity to discuss the position in person. All right, but you do need to have some sort of a closing here before your sign off, okay? Something that just kind of wraps it up, talking about what the next step is, uh, how you'll wait for them to contact you, how you will contact them, something like that. And then yours faithfully needs a, a lowercase f, all right, the second word is always uh, lowercase, the first one is always capital. So uh, that's it about this. I saw that grammar was an issue consistently um, and that you needed a little help with the development and of course the tone of this and it needed to be formal. All right, so all of that needs some work. Let's take a look now at your task two, shall we? Let's move on now to your task two. Let's see what you had to say here. Problems with pollution are becoming worse. What are the reasons? How can this be solved? Let's see what you said. In most of the cities around the world, pollution is an, an here with an N, an increasing problem, especially in the ones they lack of governments interested in solving this problem. All right, here we have to correct the grammar, especially the ones, which ones? Uh, oh, the cities. Okay, fine. Uh, so let's try it again. Especially in those that lack governments interested in this issue okay um if you can say something in fewer words then definitely try to rather than having a lot of words that um just kind of jumble the meaning up a little bit okay so by getting the world political leaders involved the d either in putting pressure uh, for the activation with a T of green energies or economical support. I would get rid of this the. By getting, okay, no, you know what? You don't want the by. Uh, because when you start the sentence with by, you need to have a different construction for the rest of the sentence. So let's make it instead. Getting the world, getting world political leaders involved either in putting pressure for the activation of green energies or economic support could be the next step for or could be the next step in safeguarding i wouldn't have said the interest i would have said the health of the planet okay because not really the interest um so that's how i would change this sentence and um I think it helps. Um, all right, so the rest of this is, is fine. It's just those grammatical issues that we already talked about. Your body now. The growing problem of pollution in the biggest cities of the globe is an, here, an alarming topic between the powerful nations, uh, with one L, and corporations. For this reason, new laws and waste management rules are being approved and pushed nowadays. Simultaneously, the population is learning as well to manage properly reduced the use of cars. I don't understand that. To, how about this? Is learning to properly manage, let's see what you're trying to say. The population is learning to, how about this? Properly reduce the use of cars and gas emissions with a double S, no T by using their bicycles or the SkyTrain to get to their jobs. Okay, therefore, new cycling routes are being built with a T in those cities and they do not have proper roads to encourage the population to do this more safely and accessible for kids and seniors as well. Okay, so now, uh, now I'm a little confused. Let me explain to you why. Um, 
There are a couple of ways to do essays like this. Let's go back for a minute to this, okay, to the question in the prompt. It says, what are the reasons for this? In other words, what are the reasons for pollution? And how can pollution be solved? This is what they're asking us. And there are primarily two ways to organize your answer. One way is to have one paragraph that focuses just on the problems of pollution. So what's causing pollution, especially in our cities? I have a paragraph just focusing on that. And then uh, the second body paragraph would have just the solutions for this problem. All right, that's the most common way people choose to organize this. Another way that people organize this is to have in one paragraph, one reason for pollution and directly after that, its solution. And then in the next paragraph, one reason for pollution. And again, following that, it's solution. Okay, so when I read this first body paragraph, I thought you were doing this. Okay, that's what it kind of seemed like. But the problem is, is that we're talking about how this can be solved. So like potential solutions, not things that have already been done. I just felt like there was a lot of information in here. If that's what you were doing it, then there's information here, which seems a little irrelevant, okay? So let me show you what I mean. New cycling routes are being built in those cities that did not have proper roads to encourage the population to uh, bicycle more safely and accessibly for children and seniors as well. Okay. As a consequence, there uh, has been an improvement in the pollution in the atmosphere and the population is becoming healthier. These ESE efforts are producing, no, these efforts are slowly producing positive changes in the urban areas and the rest of the world. Okay, so now I understand. This is what you wanted to do. You wanted to organize your answer like this. So um, I think that my concern is that you're telling us something that is already in place and that is already working. I think that what the essay wants is maybe potential solutions, like things that have not been used yet. And maybe that's where I got a little confused here. How can this be solved? So um, that's, I think it would have been a little better if you, you know, were um, suggesting something that wasn't in place already. Um, but fixing the grammar, cleaning it up the way we just did, it, it makes a little more sense now. Okay, let's move on to your next paragraph. Meanwhile, the waste disposal and toxic gases, big fa factories, I don't understand that. Toxic gases, big factories, they were producing. I think you mean something else. Meanwhile, waste disposal, uh, no, maybe, maybe you're trying to say something else here. Hold on. Meanwhile, large factories, with the waste and toxic gases they produce are being managed usually by them and being checked by the local authorities. It still doesn't, it's still not really clear, I'm afraid, Jorge. Um, I don't know who the them is, and I don't know why we're talking about authorities. By the way, it's spelled wrong, so be careful. Nations, nations, they have developed the more sustainable ways of managing this problem, are now helping the rest of the world by sharing their knowledge and procedures. Okay. Nations that have developed more sustainable ways of managing this problem are now helping the rest of the world by sharing their knowledge and procedures. There we go. At the same time, huge loans have been E-E-N, approved to those countries, I-E-S, that could not pay these projects with a J by themselves with a V-E-S. Just a couple of weeks ago, the biggest electrical dam was finally finished after three years of construction, only one C, nearby Mexico City, one of the badly 
contaminated, you're missing a syllable here, capitals in the world, by Canadian capital C construction companies and British government investment. Capital A here, as a result, comma, great quantities with a Q of energy are being produced in a sustainable way and we are seeing the results the leaders of the nations s were expecting similar cases are happening in other areas of the planet no a ah space here as well um okay so you basically did the same thing you are talking about things that are already in place but the essay is really asking you to suggest solutions uh for which there is not yet a solution in place so um you know if it's toxic fuels for example um then maybe you know you could say well you know if countries reduce their emissions of fossil fuels and instead turn to green energy this could reduce uh uh urban pollution by 35 percent so something like this okay a suggestion for something that could work not something that has already been implemented okay so that's what um we i would have liked to have seen here um let's move on in my personal conclusion collaboration with a double l is essential uh among all nations corporations and the population to make this happen without a d full stop here i think it is not going to be a lightning fast change and more efforts need to be made to see results in the long term but slowly the planet and the people are adapting with one day okay that's fine so jorge what i really saw here essentially was um, a lot of problems with grammar so uh, the grammar needs work uh, it needs to be more accurate okay and then once we we work on accuracy then we can talk about maybe increasing range but first accuracy is really an important thing here you could see that there were a couple of places where i just wasn't really sure what you were trying to say and you want to avoid that because you don't want any incoherence in your writing that's going to lower your task achievement score um then um i want you to be absolutely certain that you're answering the question that you have been asked and not something else so here they were looking for suggestions and not things that were that have already been implemented that would have been more um appropriate and a more appropriate way to answer this question okay so i i want you to keep writing i want you to correct these essays return them back to us don't forget to add to your error correction list so you can reduce some of the grammatical errors that we saw today and i'll be waiting for your next set of essays good luck to you